Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, so we're going to be doing your general reading. Please keep in mind this is general, so this is not going to resonate with everyone. Some pieces will be your story, and some pieces will be someone else's story. <clears throat> All right, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's see what's going on here. I um I was um, seeing the number three a lot for your guys' reading. There's something about the number three and the letter A that I kept seeing. Like three, three, three. Like I was seeing like groups of three. Like maybe three people, three things, uh, three situations. Something about the number three and the letter A. Uh, let's see. We got here climbing towards success. We have here position of authority coming out. Nice, 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 nice. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. And we got here opportunities are waiting for you. We got a short journey, a two faced friend, someone working against you behind your back. See here. So, Cancers, um, I'm seeing here that you're on some sort of path that is leading towards success because it does say ladder so it's like you're climbing towards success you're headed towards success there's a path that you're on that is leading you to success and this path that you're on is going to put you into a position of authority all right this is not a position where you're going to be following anyone you're actually going to be the leader you're actually meant to be the guide the go-to person the healer is what I'm also hearing it looks like there's a closed door or you guys have been experiencing a lot of you know missed or blocked opportunities but this opportunity there's some sort of opportunity that's waiting for you. But I feel like the door is closed right now. And here comes the distraction. Yeah, because there's been some sort of interruption and people trying to distract and stop you from getting to this, uh, from this door opening, trying to block this door from opening. I promise you I've been sitting here because I was praying over your reading and, and meditating over your reading and it was quiet. Now here comes the distraction. Hold on a second. All right, so, um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. But like I was saying, I was sitting here, like, before I even come on camera, I do, you know, whatever my process or ritual is before I do my reading, and it was completely quiet. I had been sitting here for, like, 40 minutes to an hour before I even started doing your video, and it was quiet. And then now, here comes the distraction, which is making me feel like that's what's been happening to you. Something has been sent your way to distract you. And as I was sitting here waiting for um, the conversation, Mom to come uh, they reminded me or they were telling me about those three things remember I kept saying I could, they were showing me the number three I kept saying three things and I heard three distractions so there were three things that were being sent three specific things were sent to distract you and I was shown another one so it's like they sent three things and it didn't work and now they're trying to send something else because they don't want you to get to this door they want this door to remain closed because there is an opportunity that's waiting for you there is a path that's leading you to put you into a position of authority and they don't want to see you in this position because of whatever it is that you're going to be doing I feel like like whatever you've been through or what or whatever this season is that you're experiencing right now is a short journey it's not meant to uh, you know to last long so they're wanting you to know remain steadfast remain faithful stay the course because this is short it's not going to be a very long journey uh, where these people are going to be able to keep sending these distractions and blocking you you have here a two-faced friend there is someone here that really has it out for you 
this is it's, look at this energy and it's behind your back you don't even know it or you're not aware of what's being done or what this person is doing behind your back and yeah see someone is secretly because you can't see this rat there is someone secretly working against you behind your back it's a rat you got so look at here some of you this could be even two people or it could even be three people but you definitely have a friend working against you or someone that you probably would even be surprised because it says a friend so you would even be surprised whether this is a friend or a family i just feel like this is not someone that you would expect to be two-faced not someone that you would expect to be talking about you behind your back and working against you trying to block you from getting to this door see here's the three i told you yeah, there's something here yeah, about the number three. And this could even be, like I said, three people or three things um, that was being sent to distract you, to deter you from getting to um, this door. Because I've I'm, I'm, I'm been shown, like, you guys crawling to get to this door. Because I feel like someone keeps knocking you down. And it's like you have to keep going. And it's like I'm, I'm being shown someone reaching out to try to open the door. And people keep trying to, you know, uh, send things your way to knock you down from getting to this door. Tell me about cancer, sun, moon, rising, and sign. Something on the other side of this door that's going to lead to success and put you into a position of authority. Yeah, didn't I tell... See, look at here. Didn't I say three things were sent to you? And here's another one. I told you guys that. Yeah, see? I, and look at here. You're over it. You are over it. There were three distractions that were sent. And here is another one. I feel like they were sent spiritually. So someone could have been trying to send spiritual attacks your way. Three of them specifically. And then here's another one. And I feel like you're over it. And what I'm getting here with this energy is that I feel like Spirit is saying, don't sit here and take this. Do not sit here because it's like, look, she's her arms are crossed and she's feeling frustrated or feeling miserable or just like I said, disdain with what's being sent her way. And look at the phone sitting there. This is just making me feel like just sitting there and taking it and being mad about it. And Spirit is saying, don't sit there and take it. There is power in just you speaking up and commanding it and sending it back to whoever is sending it to you. It's that Spirit is saying, you can do something about it. You can do something about these spiritual attacks that's being sent your way. Even if it, you know, you, there isn't a specific ritual that you need to do. Do what you feel led to do. But for some of you, you can just speak to this thing that's being sent to you. But speak with authority and not fear and send it back to whoever is sending it to you. There is a two-faced friend that's sending you negative energy. Yep, see, look at here. I told you, here she is. I told you, this person thinks that they're a magician. They think that they're a magician. This is a feminine energy coming through. Someone that is sending you, like I said, negative spiritual energy. And you're taking it. The spirit is saying, don't sit there taking it. You have the power. You're the actual magician. Use your resources. Use what you feel led to do. Because there isn't one specific ritual. There isn't one specific way. Do what you feel led to do. And like I said, for some of you, you can just speak to it. But speak to it with authority. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs. The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. We got the Sun card. Yeah, someone has been trying to affect your money. And they've been doing it out of greed. And because, again, because of your light. Yeah, see, here's the Queen of Cups uh, with the under our energy. And the King of Cups is coming through for the under our energy. And here's the King of Swords. Wow, look at here. Now we got some players on the board. Now we're getting somewhere, guys. You got victory. But again, yep, here's the ace of swords when it comes to your victory. <clears throat> the under our energy is looking really uh, spicy here. See, you have followers. And I told you guys right here with this throne, a position of authority. So you may be, some of you, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you may be, have like a following. Maybe you're online and you have a following or you're trying to um, gather 
or get. See, my throat chakra is being blocked. So, see, that's what I'm saying. Someone's trying to block me from speaking. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe having some sort of following or creating a following. You're doing, some of you are doing something where you're going to have either customers or you're going to have a following but this is telling me you're going to be in a position of authority that's successful for you but here is this ace of source someone trying to stop you from being successful they don't want you to get to this door that you're headed to trying to create chaos and again talking about you behind your back gossiping spying on you someone has been even spying on you in your home and for those of you where you may have like a child, they may be trying to call child protective services or trying to call some sort of authoritative figure to have them sent to your house. Like I just feel like someone is trying to send someone to spy on you in your house spiritually and for others physically send something to your house to maybe cause issues with your home but you ain't got no house and for those of you where you have kids they could be trying to send like uh making up lies about you know how you take care of your kids or what you do with your kids again someone does not want you to lead to the get to the someone does not want you to get to this path of victory and, and the sun success happiness and this person is very greedy very selfish, money hungry, and driven. I'm seeing here this Queen of Cups, and then here comes the King of Cups. Yeah, see, I told you, speak to it. You need to take, yeah, see, look at here. See, you have the power. The Queen of Cups is very psychic. She's very intuitive. Spirit saying, pick up your cup. Pick up your cup and speak to it. Look at how she's looking into it. You can command this cup. You can command it to go back to the sender just by speaking to it or following your own empathic, empathic intuitively guided ritual. Like I said, it's not just one. I was just giving you guys an example. You have here this King of Cups. There's someone that you're not talking to. And I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they're your soulmate. You have a spiritual gift. Whoever these this person or persons, because it could be more, they're trying to take your spiritual gift because they're jealous of your spiritual gift. This Queen of Pentacles, they're jealous of your spiritual gift. I even feel like this Queen of Pentacles may be uh, doing some sort of practice, like some sort of like, uh, maybe they make herbs, um, maybe they have like a garden, like I'm getting here like a witch type of energy that they do, like something with like herbs or a garden, or they're making their own spells. And I feel like they sell it, <clears throat> here it is again, that uh, my throat chakra they sell it or they're trying to sell it for profit but they're not making money off of it because it's it's poison it's toxic it's not going to nobody wants to buy it and i feel like they're attached to this king of cups this king of cups is someone that's like a soulmate to you but i feel like you guys are in separation this king of cups is actually talking to a friend and or an attorney there, this King of Cups is talking to this King of Swords. And I feel like they were associated with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The greedy, selfish witch that's not able to make any money. Whatever businesses this Queen of Pentacles does, it falls flat. It doesn't prosper. That's what I'm saying. They, they, they're they jealous of your spirituality. They're jealous of your gifts. And, and this Queen of Pentacles has been trying to copy you and block you from getting to your abundance. But this queen of uh, this king of cups, like I was telling you guys, they're talking to what I feel like is someone in, a, in an authoritative position. So I feel like maybe this king of cups could be talking to a judge or talking to an attorney. <clears throat> Let's see what else comes through. Yeah, it looks like they're looking to move on. So they may be, uh, yeah, we got here family. They may even be going to visit their family. And I'm not talking about, uh, I'm talking about their, their family, like the, like the place where they grew up. It looks like they're going to visit their family to get away. Because I feel like they're looking to get away from some sort of selfish, manipulative, self sabotaging energy. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles has been doing something to this King of Cups. 
Let me use another deck with this as well. Yeah, and as I grab the other deck, here comes the King of Swords. Yeah, uh, this Queen of Pentacles has been doing something to this King of Cups. The King of Cups is moving to a different direction. Because I feel like whoever this King of Cups is, I feel as though they've been drowning. Someone has been consistently trying to sabotage them, trying to stop them from leaving them. This King of Swords is trying to impart some sort of light, some sort of information to this King of Cups. And like I said, this is either a friend or an official person, like I said, like an attorney, a judge, like whoever this person is, though, I feel like they're an authoritative position. This could even be their boss, but this person is very wise. Yeah, and look at here. And then here comes the Queen of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. This makes me feel like this is this King of Cups. And here's the Sun card. I just grabbed this deck and looked at the underall energy of this deck. So here it is, the King of Swords. I feel like this is the King of Cups right here with the Seven of Pentacles feeling like giving up. They have been feeling like giving up and see even right here, just feeling tired and feeling like attacked. They've been under some sort of attack. I feel like they've been experiencing some setbacks as well, even within their own family. I feel like, like they're leaving, like they had their own family and then they're going to find some sort of solace with their childhood family because they've been under some sort of attack and they just want to get away and they feel like giving up. But I feel like this King of Swords is trying to impart some sort of wisdom, some sort of guidance, some sort of knowledge, like encouraging them, speaking life into this King of Cups, telling them not to give up. The same thing with you. I feel like that's what I was saying about you guys. Like, don't see right here, even you feeling tired, because both of you have been experiencing adversity, you and this King of Cups. And see, you're over here focusing on your cup because you're mad, you're mad about what you've been given. And that's why I'm saying speak to it. Send it back. Make it do what you want it to do. You are the magician. You're the real magician. You can manifest what you want. Some of you by just speaking to it. And so, like I was saying with this King of Cups, this could be a water sign, uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or just someone that, you know, is embodying this loving, this deep love energy and having issues surrounding love. Because I feel like here, this person has been talking to this King of Swords about the Queen of Cups. They feel like you're happy without them, but you're experiencing some sort of issue that's causing you frustration. It could even be this, this right here. You're getting pissed off by something, but this King of Cups feels like you're happy without them. And they feel like giving up, <clears throat> giving up on the connection with you because they feel like you're better with, you're doing better without them. Or at least they get this vibe that you're happy without them. Maybe you have been posting something or you have been giving them some sort of vibe that you are happy without them. But for them, it's not, they don't feel happy without you. They're actually, they have actually been restless and they have been having a hard time sleeping and getting over you with this four swords in reverse. Yeah, because even right here, the knight of swords is in reverse. So I'm feeling here, yeah, this person, this king of cups has been frustrated. They feel like they can't get ahead. They feel blocked and I'm giving here like anger. I feel, I'm seeing hitting the wall, but like physically taking their hand and hitting a wall. So <clears throat> they may have some sort of like anger management issue and it's centered around love. This person loves you, but feels like they can't get to you. And they're frustrated and angry. And I'm be <clears throat> my goodness, what is going on? I am being reminded. I had saw like um, this post. And I saw a post where someone was talking about how their um, 
father married their mother. But the thing about it was they married their mother not wanting to marry their mother. And was and, and because the only reason why they married their mother is because the woman that they wanted did not want them. And they talked about how mean and how evil their father was while they were married to their mother. They ultimately ended up getting a divorce though from their, the, the fa their father ultimately ended up divorcing their mother because they were just so miserable and so mean towards their mother and the mother could no longer take it. So they ultimately ended up getting a divorce. But the person said the reason why they were that way was because there was a, a woman that they had really wanted to be with that they could not be with. That woman would not accept them back. And ultimately, they talked about how, um, you know, the father ended up passing away um, miserable, passing away angry. And I was reminded of this story as I'm looking at the energy sitting here because it's reminding me that this person feels like you, they, don't, they just feel like they don't have a chance with you at all. And I'm getting here this energy of having been with someone or is attached to someone that they do not want. They're in love with the Queen of Cups and feel like they don't have a chance with you and feeling like giving up. And this makes me feel like this person is worried that they're going to have to spend the rest of their life without you. Because no matter who they get with, because I told you guys with that four source, this person has been restless and feel like they can't move on from you. And it's like no matter who they get with, they feel like they will always miss you, always long for you, always want to be with you. And that's why I saw hitting the wall and being angry. I feel like this person has anger management issues because they can't get what they want. That being you. <clears throat> we have here the two of swords. That was the under our energy before. Um, I got ready to shuffle. We got the Queen of Pentacles. Here she is right here in reverse as well. So she, the Queen of Pentacles is coming through with the Two of Swords. And here's the Sabotage. The Two-Faced Friend. Or this enemy working behind somebody's back. So it looks like here. Trying to sabotage it so that this King of Cups will come back. So this Queen of Pentacles. And see, look at how she's looking at this pentacle. So this makes me feel like what she did did not work. What she's been doing, whatever herbs, whatever practices, whatever ritual, it hasn't been working. And she's not giving up. She's trying to figure it out, though. She feels blocked. She feels like a stalemate. That's what I feel like was going on. This is why she's in. Re she's up right now. She was in reverse because it wasn't working. She was at some sort of stalemate trying to figure it out. Whoever this person is, they're very delusional. And they're ignoring the flags to stop doing this. They actually took whatever money they had to pay someone else to do something. They took their, the pentacle that they had and they paid someone else to do their bidding. To try to sabotage uh, this this connection, this union between the two of you, and to bring they did something to try to lure or bring they pay someone to bring this person back to them, and to have them struggle without you. I mean, without them to have them struggle without yeah without uh, them being in their life. They wanted to make it hard for this King of Cups to move on from them. And that's why this King of Cups is feeling like giving up. And remember I said without you when I meant to say without them. They wanted them to see that being without them, the Queen of Pentacles wanted this King of Cups to see without me, you're going to struggle. If you go be with Cancer, the Queen of Cups, you're going to struggle. They're trying to make it hard for this person to get to you. And remember I told you I saw someone crawling. Like, like if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to open this door. And that's why I feel like the door of opportunity is for the both of you. This King of Cups and this Queen of Cups to come together. I feel like that's what's on the other side of the door. But someone has been trying to put obstacles in, the, in place so that it doesn't happen. So that this union does not happen. So that this person does not give you this cup. And I'm also seeing here with this page of swords, um, something is going on here when it comes to spying. 
I feel like they've been paying people to spy, paying people to look in, paying someone to look in and see if this person has given you this cup. If there's been a relationship that has started with you guys. We have the Two of Cups is coming in in reverse. Look at here, the Three of Swords. Under our energy for this is the Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is someone that's hurt and trying to cause pain so that you guys don't want to be together. Something is being done. Someone that's hurt is doing something to make it to where the two of you don't want to be together. And I just heard... Um, if you've been getting like readings, because something around readings, uh, like I feel like trying to make cause some sort of chaos in your readings, meaning if you get a reading, I feel like giving like a false information, like making it seem like this King of Cups doesn't want you, doesn't want this relationship. Like that's what I'm saying. Like let's say, for example, um, if you got a reading or something, like they're trying to make it show up to where you're getting false information in that reading. about the two of you not coming together. And yep, so that they, so that you can see that they're going to come together. They want you to see that the union between the two of you isn't going to work, but it's going to work with them. They're going to live and be with them or stay with them. That's what I was getting here with that. Yep, see, I told you the moon, trying to cause some sort of illusion. They're trying to secretly do something to keep some sort of illusion, some sort of veil over you not being able to see the truth. They're, they were working with something. Or paying someone. So you don't see the truth of the situation. So that you only see something that's not real. Or something that's going to cause you to be fearful. This person is very manipulative. And very like vindictive. Like the, the things that they're doing is like. It's like no, no other. Yep see and this is why this person is frustrated. So. I feel like I feel like the person is King of Cups is getting angry because of whatever this other person, this Queen of Pentacles, has been paying to have done. Like they're still paying to keep you guys from coming together. I feel like they're not even living with them anymore, but they're paying to stop them from coming together. To stop you two rather from coming together. And it's creating it and they're also paying for this King of Cups to struggle. Because I'm seeing here like being really angry about things that have been happening. You both have been under some sort of attack by this person. All in efforts to keep the two of you apart. They're, again, they're even paying for your readings to show that the two of you won't be together. Yep, they're secretly, yeah, here comes the Queen of Wands coming through. Let me see what she's about. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. This could be a fire sign. Yep, this is you, the magician. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Again, you have the power. This is about being confident in what you're capable of manifesting and what you're capable of doing. I feel like some of you don't even realize just how powerful you are. You're actually, this is actually going to help you manifest some sort of new gift. Yeah, I told you, this is you, Cancer. The chariot, this is you. See, you have the power over light and dark. Light and dark, you have the power. You can control it. You can speak to it. You see, the wand is in her hand right here. And the wand is in her hand right here. And the wand is in her hand right here. Which is telling me you can speak to it. Stop sitting here and accepting it. And command it to do. You have to command it. To do what you want it to do. Take control. This is what the chair is about. Taking control. Spirit is saying take control. Be bold. Be confident. 
and manifest what it is that you want. You have the power. You have all the tools. You have all the resources. She has the pentacle. She has the sword. She has the cup. And she has the wand. So we're saying you have all you need to manifest whatever it is that you want to have happen. You just have to take control of it and do it. Stop sitting here and taking it and shutting down and closing yourself up and closing off and turning a blind eye. Like you're under some sort of spiritual attack and you can speak to it and command it to do what you want it to do and send it back to whoever is sending this negative energy your way. Yep, see here comes this two of wands. This is someone else. Yeah, I'm seeing here on the phone. And I feel like on the phone to see if what they did to you, this is a two-faced friend. They've been, they've trying to see if what they sent your way, because they're at a distance from you. They're trying to see if what they sent to your home is working. What they, and I feel like trying to stop you from manifesting. They got on the phone and called whoever they needed to talk to, to see if what they were doing to you was working. Because they don't know. They don't know. They sent something to your home. They sent it to your home. We got the eight, reclaiming your power. Here comes the ace of swords. This is you reclaiming it and speaking to it. Like I was telling you guys. Yep, speaking to that devil. Speaking to that devil and reclaiming your power. And not just sitting here and taking it, but being fiercely and boldly confident in what your the power of your words and breaking this chain. See, path of victory, path of success. All right, so I'm going to do an extended reading. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to look into what this conversation is that was going on with this person that was sending um, these attacks your way. I'm also going to look into this King of Cups energy. I'm going to see what's presently going on. Where is the King of Cups? <laughs> oh, here they are. I'm going to presently see what's going on in this King of Cups life. Um, how they're feeling about you and what is going on with them as it pertains to this king of swords and then i'm going to see what you're going to be manifesting what's coming your way what is this opportunity coming your way that you need to know about so three things we're going to look at this um, two-faced person that's working behind your back to see what's going on with them as it pertains to you and then we're going to look into the king of cups life and the energy around them when it comes to you and what they're talking about with this king of swords and what you are manifesting what's coming your way. So if you want more insight, come on over to the extended. My, um, By the way, um, I know I was having issues with um, my extended readings, people being able to watch it. That situation has been cleared. It has been fixed. So no weapon formed against me is prospering. They can try it, but it ain't going to work, okay? So you can now watch the videos if you were having issues before. All right, guys, come on over to the extended. The link is going to be in the description box. I'll catch you guys over there. Bye.